Jailers down. Rate this place. <laughs> rate it. Rate it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe I should find a manager to give us more information. Yes, you guys. I told you we are going to go through with the manager. Here she is, right here. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, how are you? Great. Uh, so I'm Raya. I've been uh, working here at Pamoja Ole Africa for some time and uh, it feels more like home. Yeah. Here at Pamoja we have like a tradition or I would say a, a, a tendency of feeling and making people feel at home from where they come from. Mm. Like from different countries and the environment itself supports yeah. and make the people feel more at home. Yeah. We are surrounded with a lot of herbs, coffee plantation, a banana plantation, which we actually use it on our menus. Mm. And uh, yesterday I witnessed how you guys welcome guests here. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Why do you do it like that? Uh, we actually welcome guests yeah. in a traditional way of singing, mm. so the guests would feel more welcome and uh, feel special actually. Know that we know they're here. Mm. We know their names, we know they are coming and uh, the singing makes them feel more excited, more relaxed, comfortable. You know somehow uh, when the guests arrive, yeah. if you're all standing quiet, makes them feel like am I, how am I going to interact? Mm -hmm. But showing the cheerful faces, laughing, the laughter, the singing, the joy makes them feel welcomed. Yeah. Yeah, accepted. Yeah. So it's part of our uh, mode of, let's say, uh, um, ethics. Like yeah. We prefer doing that. This place is just so amazing. If you are in love with nature, you're definitely gonna leave a piece of your soul here. Because right here, t tell us about this area. I don't want to be the one talking <laughs> since we have the manager here. <laughs> so this is a pool area. Yeah. And, uh, this is the pathway heading us to the pool. Mm. So we put this arc. Sometimes we use it as a decoration. Uh -huh. Put nice flowers uh, for guests who are honeymooners or yeah. uh, who are having an anniversary so we decorate the area mm. and they use this amazing walkway okay. just to pass through wow yeah ah this is so beautiful we are surrounded with garden which we normally use it for dinner and so many other activities yeah we are having our amazing pool
we harvest our fresh lemons from the farm. Mm. We have uh, mango trees just underneath a little bit. Yeah. Yes, and we are surrounded with a lot of fruits here. Mm. We have passion fruits, which you're going to see around. But also we have a lot of papayas and banana plantations. Yeah. So we prefer harvesting most of the food stuff from our farm. Okay. Yeah. We can buy, but it's good that something is fresh and the guests are comfortable with having something that is fresh from the farm. Yeah. Yeah. I will so tell you, I really love being a more genuine. I really love the contrast of nature here. And this is where it really meets luxury. <laughs> because this place <laughs> It's very, 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 luxurious. it's luxurious. <laughs> it's so amazing. So you can see we are surrounded with coffee plantation, mm. which is Arabica. And we are actually using it as a fresh coffee in our coffee station in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there is a process that we do. We harvest when they are fully ripe. I'll mm -hmm. show you some which are fully ripe. Okay. Then we uh, use the proper machines to take out the peels. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, ferment them for for uh, grinding mm. and drying them to become and roasting and to become a powder form that we can use then for our guests as a coffee mm. so this is just a walkway we prefer to put stones which are shiny yeah <laughs> for our guests <laughs> wow are these stones um do you make them shine or they naturally like this no they are natural are this they mined here not made here, but uh, there are some places from Tanga where you can find such stones. Oh. Yeah, so it came all the way. From Tanga? Yeah, to make these. Guys, luxury. I've done a video in Tanga. You guys remember how far it is. It's really far. There's a lot of effort that mm -hmm. the management is really making to make this place so beautiful. So uh -huh. this is the walkway. We have a little garden of rosemaries. You can see both sides. Yeah. We love herbs. Oh, how beautiful we it is. We have coriander. We have a lot of veggies. We have lots of papaya trees all over the way yeah. of the wall. We have bananas surrounding us. Mm. In between, we have coffee. We have pumpkins. And this is what we love about Pamoya. It has varieties. <laughs> Wh which country visit here the most? Many. Like which which one is the most? <laughs> uh, we have Dutch. The Dutch. Yes. From the, the Netherlands. Dutch, from the Netherlands, we have uh, uh, Mexicans. Okay. We get uh, guests from Spain. Okay. Yeah, we get uh, guests from Germany. Wow. Lots of Germany. We get uh, guests from America, UK. Yeah. yeah. So mostly we have variety i would say because of the amazing <laughs> environment yes we normally get all these kind of reviews yeah they are sharing with their friends and family it's amazing yeah i mean if if i i come here once i'll definitely come again here <laughs> and then welcome. share the stories with other people it's beautiful and then any african guest yeah, we have. We have African guests from Arusha, guests from Mwanza. I don't mean Tanzanians. Okay. Africans. <laughs> oh, okay. We have um, guests from South Africa. Uh -huh. We've gotten guests from uh, Sudan. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, guests from uh, Egypt. Okay. Yeah. So guys, West Africans, what, you 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 not coming this side? Um, the rooms are quite huge, mm. comfy. We have an amazing concrete uh, bathtubs. Yeah. We have nice washing basins. Mm -hmm. We prefer going white. Yeah. And uh, maybe we can see one of the rooms. Let's yes. See how it looks. Yes, please. Yeah. We are surrounded with flowers. Amazing. A little garden. Hmm. Coming in. Thank you. We have all the lights on the balcony. Yeah. And from the inside. Uh huh. Coming. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. This is a twin. The or twin. A family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So this is has, beautiful. Uh, it has two king size beds. Yeah. But uh, sometimes. 
if we have a huge family we can normally split the bed okay. into four as you can see yeah. it's more like sofa beds we can flex lies and make it into four or two yeah yes but we have these amazing curtains yeah we normally do turn down of the nets when the guests are in dinner mm. and we always put these amazing decorations okay before any guest arrivals and here we have our amazing table yeah for our guest use if they would love to read or work mm. a little uh, we, we we normally put a little bible on the side mm. under this tab okay. a little secret okay so the guest would learn learn with me so we put some little words uh -huh. jumbo jumbo learn swahili with us uh -huh. welcome karibu father baba mother mama yeah Yeah. This is our little farm. Oh man, you guys know I love yes. gardening, vegetables. I grow my own vegetables at home, mm -hmm. so I love this. Uh -huh. Yeah. So this is the end of the wall. Okay. Going back up from the reception. Uh -huh. and actually, the premises is five acres. Five acres. Yes. Yeah, that's quite big. Plenty of papaya trees. Yeah. One of my favorite fruits. <laughs> <laughs> you love papayas? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, this work. This work right here is my favorite. Ooh. Coffee, coffee. Wow. Arabica coffee. <laughs> I feel like a farmer now. <laughs> so we normally, you know, for the coffee, it takes quite some time to grow into a mature okay coffee. like how many how long it may go to a year okay before it gives out the fruits that's not too long yeah yeah it depends you it's have to be patient you have to be patient plus it it's a very crucial uh plant it needs a lot of attention mm. and care uh. so look how amazing they are look at how beautiful they are from the plants with all these beans it's so beautiful. Yeah. Man. So these ones, these ones are the ripened ones. Uh huh. Yes. They're so ready to, to remove? To harvest, yeah. Okay. These ones are still a little bit, not completely ripened. Mm. Easy. And these ones are still not ripened at all. Okay. Uh huh. So we have these six bananas that we use for These ones? our breakfast yes oh those bananas are head yes the fried they ones they look green <laughs> the fried but ones we normally fry them some of them not all bananas are fried they okay. have kind of a different uh, instincts or characters some can be fried and some are sweet bananas okay so you give them time to ripen oh yeah okay we have an amazing tree with great flowers African tulip. It's called African tulip. Tulip. Uh -huh. Great orange flowers. Yeah. 
I love the color. Very beautiful. Yeah. You can see the passion fruit. Yeah. So many of them. <laughs> Some are yet ripened. What? But they fall down when they're fully ripened. Oh, so you don't have to climb to get them. They just fall. So you can try to get some which are already ripened if they take too long to, to fall to out. To fall and you need yeah. them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but mostly they just fall out for themselves. Okay. So heading this way, it's a little dark. Oh. But has a great meaning. No, I'm not going to walk there. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, see where she's taking me. <laughs> but let me just be strong. Don't be strong here. Okay. <laughs> This is <laughs> wow. So, mm -hmm. when guests come, uh -huh. you tell them about all this. The walkway. They walk, yes. Exactly, but I don't tell them that it's really dark. <laughs> this is a surprise. <laughs> I'm sure when they get here, they like they have oh it. Exactly. They, have, they, they have fast heartbeats for a moment. And they become super excited because uh, it's, an, a great, it's a great feeling. Mm -hmm. Really? You just, uh, you're, you're back of everything. Yeah. You're not close to the restaurant. You don't hear a sound of anyone. Just, the, just birds. the birds. Yeah. And it's always quiet. Just silent. You can think wow. of so many things on this walkway. Yeah, true. Oh, now do you have to go up? We have to go up. You should have made it a little bit longer here. <laughs> what a great idea. Another part of that. Yeah. No, I think it's just a feeling where like after walking here you, you feel so good more. you wanna walk more, yes. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. So it brings us to here. A nice, nice little round area. Oh, for okay. our coffee. Uh -huh. So we make all the setups. And actually this is my great chairs. These are the chairs. Yes. What do you think about them? It's a, they're beautiful. <laughs> they, they're amazing. <laughs> this is nature. Yes. Everything by nature. Exactly. Yeah. This is amazing. Uh -huh. And then you get greeted with this forest behind you there. And actually, these yellow trees is a great indicator of water. Of water? Exactly. I'm learning something. Yeah, they're called yellow-backed acacia. So which, these ones? Exactly. Which yeah. means there's water? Water table under. Oh! Exactly. Great indicators. This takes us out hmm. to the fire area, from mostly from six. We normally put the fire on. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So when the guests arrive, we just brief them about this amazing place. Yeah. Yeah. So we meet. The reason behind is to meet together. Okay. Some guests want to to sit in a place where it's more private and quiet. Yeah. Think about maybe work or family. Some are divorced. We put uh, drinks on these little bottles, and we have a butler. We do butler service. So the butler is always around here with his all amazing, great drinks. Talking okay. to the guests, chatting to the guests, offering yeah. all kinds of drinks. Yeah. It's okay. amazing. I yeah. saw people washing, like guests washing their hands here. Why? Um, for Pamoje, it's kind of our thing that uh, we offer our guests warm water. The water Ah, warm. it's warm. Yes. <laughs> So they actually wash their hands with soap okay. after a long drive. Yeah. You would assume they are touching all these kinds of stuff. Yeah. So on the receiving, they get a glass of juice and some snacks. Mm -hmm. So on the offering, at least I would begin with washing the hands, provide them with a tissue. Uh -huh. So they would dry their hands afterwards okay. and give them a glass of juice and snacks. All right. Yeah. And this is the... This is the gift shop. The souvenir, souvenir shop. shop. Okay, it's locked, but you guys can see from the window. Let's do a window shopping. <laughs> Otherwise, I think we... We're done. We are done. So we walk up here. <laughs> great, great Pomodoro Africa. Yeah, thank Launch. you so much. Hello, guys. Hello. How are you? <laughs> we good. Welcome. All right, good. 
Thank Meet you so our much. Team. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe just a question. How do you feel working for Pomoja? I feel awesome. good. We feel good. It's amazing, right? Yeah, we love it. It's a lovely place. It's a farmhouse. It's great, nice, uh, nice condition. It's a one of the farm, farm, farmhouse. We grow each and everything here, and we sit here, and we.